Well, the area hardest hit by the storm, Ventura County. Floods mm. damaging dozens of homes in Port Wyneme. In fact, people living there want to know why and how it happened. KCAL News reporter Jasmine Veal went looking for answers. You couldn't see that. All you saw was water. It was like I was in the ocean. That's Luz Rodriguez says she watched as the storm channel next to her home on Channel Islands Boulevard in Port Wyneme overflowed Thursday morning during the storm, sending a river of water into her home. Some of my furniture was just floating through everywhere. According to Ventura County Emergency Services in Port Wyneme, 26 homes suffered major damage where the water exceeded 18 inches. 53 homes had minor damage and 32 had some damage. They expect these numbers to grow. I won't be able to live in my house for days or weeks. Rodriguez says this has never happened in the 14 years she has lived in this retirement community. A county flood map shows a 1% chance for a flood in her neighborhood in any given year. County or city, whoever it is, did not take precautions when they knew that we were having a storm like they did last time when there was a hurricane warning. She's talking about when Tropical Storm Hillary hit last August and the storm channels worked. But Ventura County Public Works officials say that was nothing like this storm. This type of rain intensity in a short amount of time uh, would occur every 200 years. Ventura County Public Works officials say right here is where two of these large collection channels come together and the flow then moves down Channel Islands Boulevard out toward the harbor. But when this storm cell was just parked overhead, dumping a massive amount of rain, they say that's when the flow overwhelmed the system. That's well, like driving down uh, Highway 101 and hitting the 405 and y'all, everyone wants to go over into uh, Los Angeles. There were no failures of the uh, drainage channels. KCAL News meteorologists say the thunderstorm cell Wednesday night into Thursday morning dropped at least two to three inches of rain in a very short period of time. But my washer and dryer were underwater. I haven't even gotten to that cabinet. I mean, it's just everything is was underwater. Rodriguez says she's already spent $1,500 trying to clean up her home where just two days ago she was decorated and ready for Christmas and now left with not even a dry chair to sit on. I'm sorry you know me. I, I get know. emotional. I, I, did, I did the same thing. In Port Wyneme, Jasmine Veal, KCAL News.